Why would some soldiers cut their map? Hey guys, welcome back to Range of Survival and Fieldcraft. I'm Andrew, and what I have for you today is a military map hack tip or trick where we can take a large map like this that is about 48 inches long and 36 inches wide or so and making one simple modification, fold this map down to 1 16th its size, which is about just this upper square right here of terrain on the map and keep it at that 1 16th size the entire time we use it and still have access by folding or flipping the map to be able to access every single other portion of this giant large military map. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. In the past I have used things like this or little techniques like this where we have a map folded up to the area that we need. We got a drop zone or the area we're going to be operating in and we have the clips holding the map in a folded position maybe with an adjacent side over here so we can flip it over in case we're operating in this area as well. Another technique is something that I call a recon pad where we have the map folded to the area that we need, acetate over top. On the back side we put a loom tape down and then acetate over top of that. 100 mile an hour tape going around the map creating a waterproof map. We can slip this inside our shirt. Best part is with the acetate over top we can write on that acetate like that, like and subscribe and then using the eraser marker here, the white one that we've taped to the rest of our markers, we can simply erase what we've written in there and erase that line and we can do the same thing on the map right here plot our points when we're done all we have to do is erase our points and they're off the map all right just like the manual says before we go modifying our good map that we're going to use for everything that we need it for we should probably practice on some pieces of paper first these are printouts of an area that's on this map and so we can get some good practice with this you'll notice on this side we've divided up the map what we can do is take a ruler and our ninja turtle pencil and divide the paper up evenly lengthwise and widthwise to give us four boxes by four boxes 16 boxes total because that's how we're going to divide up this map and with those boxes, it's important that we get four groups of four letters into their quadrants. Quadrant one, two, three, and four. And so you see it's A, B, C, D, not A, B, C, D, just straight across. Because we're going to have quadrants opened up at the same time. And if we have the letters in order that way, it'll help keep us on track. Now, if we don't have a ruler or a pencil and we're just doing this in the field, we can still make a 16 by 16 box. And it's very simple. All we have to do is just fold our map into 16. And so we just fold it in half, fold it in half again. And this is a lot easier with a piece of paper as compared to this thing. Fun fact is that most military maps already come folded like this. And so if you unfold it and you just follow the creases on the paper, it will actually be divided up already into 16 boxes for you. And so you just follow those creases. Notice on the map when we exercised this earlier, there were no pencil markings or anything like that because it was already folded in a 1 16th size. And most military maps may come that way. The more you know. Right, then once we get here, we fold it in half again, last time, and it'll be approximately the same size in perimeter as one of the sizes of our quadrants. You can kind of see here, comparing sizes with the P, that it kind of fits right over top. So we just fold it down to that size, approximately four folds. And once we unfold it, we should have the folds necessary to at least ID our quadrants. And it looks pretty clear with all the folds in here. So we have quadrant one, two, three, and four. Now, we can take out our pen. We wouldn't want to do this with our map. We don't want to write on our map like that because now we can't see a lot of those terrain features. So don't write on your map. We're just doing this for instructional purposes. Now we could write A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. And now we have our quadrants written down. This is where things are going to get a little tricky and we have to be very, very precise when we do this. On the map, there are two points. They're going to be in the middle in between quadrant one and three and then in the middle between quadrants two and four. All right, so right where our folds meet width and lengthwise right here at the center and then in between running down these folds left and right of center we're just going to draw a line There's one point here and one point right here using a straight edge if we had one or using any straight edge we're just going to draw a line connecting those two dots 
So we have a line right here connecting those two dots. That is where we're gonna make our cut from dot to dot, one straight line. And now you can see our cut. Now from here, all we have to do is pull up in the middle lengthwise the center fold of our map and then now we have the ability to flip-flop the center and we want to start with quadrant one so we'll lay out quadrant one fold the map in half like this fold this over so we have our quadrant and we can still fold A and B down on top, fold it yet again. Now we have our first quadrant. This is how small it is that we can still use it for terrain association, whatever we want to use it for. All you have to do is unfold B, fold it back over and we have B. Unfold, flip it, we have C and D. Fold it in half, there's C. Fold it again, there's D, or flip it. Open it up. A, B, C, and D, our first quadrant. Grab the D and B side, flip it over. Now we have our second quadrant. G, F, or E, F, G. You fold it again, fold it down. There's E, F, G, H. Fold it up. All right, there's I, J, K, L. Then our last quadrant, M, N, O, and P. Check out this magic. A, B. Alright guys, so a down and dirty video today on how to cut and fold a map. That way we have access to every single portion of the map that we need without having to open it all the way up to a you know 48 by 36 inch size like this and keep it small while still having access to every single portion of that map that we need for land navigation, for orienteering, evasion, anything we need a map for while keeping that map small that way we protect it and we use only the portions that we need and avoid destroying the other portions that we may need of that map while keeping it small at the same time so we can put it away really quick and hide it or keep it out of sight and still have that map to use for whatever we need that map for. Now I really hope you liked this video. Again, down and dirty today. And if you did like this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave me a comment in the comment section. I always appreciate your feedback. I wanna thank you guys for everything you do for me, for this channel, for your likes, your views, your subscriptions, your comments, your feedback, and your shares. And I'll be back with the video as soon as I can guys. Thanks.